Cops occasionally catch suspects during compromising situations. But what happens when the suspects are actually naked during the arrest? Here are eight criminals who are arrested by cops in their birthday suits. Starting with Lisa Luna, Officer Campello was pulling over at a gas station when suddenly a completely naked woman appeared casually walking towards the police car. You okay? Where's all your clothes out? I was raped. You were raped? Yeah, but I'm okay. When did this happen? Tell you what, why don't you come over here, ma'am? What's your name? Hey, can you come over here away from the crowd and talk to me? like a jacket or something? Stand right here, I'll see what I can get for you, all right? Although her cold behavior seems very strange, it could have been just a shock reaction to a traumatizing event. The cop focuses on saving the damsel in distress and is way less cautious. He went to grab a blanket from the back seat so that Lisa could cover herself. However, when he got back around the car, the unthinkable happened. Although Deputy Campello tried to stop Luna, she managed to take off and the cop fell to the ground hurting his wrist. There were several witnesses watching the entire situation, but one good Samaritan immediately stood up and offered to help the officer. Threw open his driver's side door and jumped in the back seat and says, get in, we'll follow. Luna then took the cops for a 70 mile chase. Once troopers caught up, Campello and the good Samaritan's car backed off. The chase ended when Luna crashed into an SUV, suffering minor injuries. After the arrest, Luna claimed she didn't remember the incident and blamed her cousin for drugging her. Yet, she pleaded guilty to theft of means of transportation and endangerment and was sentenced to 27 months in prison. But even though Aaron Holdsworth's arrest was slightly less dangerous, it was equally as revealing. 28-year-old Aaron was caught going 128 miles per hour and refused to stop for the signals. The officers had to use stop sticks to puncture the car's tires, putting the chase to an end. Aaron got out of the car and caught the cops off guard. She was wearing nothing but tennis shoes and a G-string. On Wednesday, Holdsworth made her initial appearance in Chardon Municipal Court where she's charged with OVI, failure to comply, driving with a suspended license. Aaron was handcuffed and put into the police car. Then she suddenly became combative and attempted to kick the cruiser's back window. Aaron has been convicted on charges of operating a vehicle while intoxicated, driving with a suspended license, and fleeing and eluding, and spent 18 months behind bars. But Carmen Matash put on a much more dramatic scene. The cops were called to a local park pool due to a woman disrupting the peace and harmony of the poolside settings. Allegedly, she removed her top and shouted insults at people. Hello, ma'am. Hi. What's going on today? I pay a lot of money, $17. I didn't have a chance to sleep because these cat ladies are occupying for one hour. Okay. Okay. All right, why are we topless? Because I'm a man. No, I'm not if I'm a man. I'm transgender, so I, I don't feel topless. Okay. Carmen claims to be a man, having the right to be topless in a public space and demands to be refunded in order to leave the area. But as her appearance is rather womanly, the officer visibly struggles to understand the logic. No, we're going to leave right now. I, I will leave right now. I'm sorry? I will leave right now. You want to leave right now? I will go, but look how many things I have to gather my stuff. Okay. But no, you can, you can go, okay? No, no, no. We're going to wait here until you, you but, get your stuff and you leave. But what is the rule? Show me the rules. That it says, I'm, I read the rules. Okay, well, the, the rules are that they can refuse service to anyone that they want. No, the rule, this is not a rule. Why, why they want? Well, uh, why, what, why, I'm a transgender. I'm not it, supposed to, to use stuff. Okay, hang on. I'm a, I'm a transgender. I you am, know, you, I, are, you are against this? No, I'm not. No, Let, me, May I speak? May I speak? Look at, look at the man. Hang on. Look at him. I understand. Look at him. He has stuff. Look at him. I understand. May he I, has a tap. May I speak? I'm not a man. I, I, I'm a trans, I'm a boy. I haven't said ma'am. May I speak, please? Okay. Okay. Why, why boys, they need to use no. This is, that's no. beside the point. They wanted you to leave before you even took off your top because you're creating a scene here and and yelling in people's okay. faces. I want to make complaints that, to the park district. I want my money back. That's fine. The cops explain that being topless is not the main problem. The problem is Carmen's erratic behavior towards other visitors. But as the conversation goes on, 
Carmen becomes more and more aggressive. Show me the rules that I pay the money and I cannot swim. Show me the rules. We're going to at the front. Yes, yes. Show me the rules. Do you have an idea on you? No, I don't have ideas. I don't have. I'm a transgender. I don't have. No, no. Okay, I don't know that that has anything to do with that, but... I see. Okay. Put him to We're, take this has up. nothing to do with your statement that you're no, transgender. No, you I don't care. I don't care what, what so you if you can identify you as a raccoon if you want. You We're leaving. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but you insulted me because I'm transgender and he if oh. I put with my top, he has to put because okay. he has boobs too. Okay. But even though cops eventually succeeded in escorting Carmen outside, the altercation still continues at the entrance. My boobs are more than many men see. Pull the bags to pull wear top and I wear top. My boobs are smaller than men. All the men. Okay. 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 That's enough. Yes. Now that's enough. Yes. Carmen assertively demands a refund of $17. The process takes a bit longer than expected because the cashier hands back only $16. Carmen then engages in a dispute with the cashier, claiming discrimination based on her transgender identity. However, the situation is clarified when the police officer sheds light on who actually discriminated against who. You calling body shaming people and telling them that they're fat and ugly is making this a very unfriendly place, okay? This is not, but this Listen. is fat, fat, it's, it's a truth. It's a truth. They, they need to be aware of this and don't show in public. I will not leave the people in the airplanes. What I will is, not leave the what people. What is wrong with you? No, what is no wrong it's not wrong. There's yeah, a lot, there's a lot wrong with you. Let me, that what is your name? Like five people, I will not allow them in to travel right, listen. in the airplanes. I will not allow them in the pool until they lose weight. Okay, Okay. Problem. Do you have an ID? What is the problem? Well, you've committed disorderly conduct, no, and we're on the not... verge of going to jail today. No, I'm not going to jail. Okay. No. No, I'm calling my mom prospect police. I'm calling my prospect that, police. That's fine. Prospect. That's fine. No, I'm calling my mom prospect police. Just go away from the bags. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Why didn't I call hey. you anything? Don't pull away from no, us. No, I'm not going. No, I'm not going. Go. No, you heard me. You heard me. Okay. I want to make a complaint. Everything's on camera. No, I want to... <laughs> okay. I want to put that... Um, I need to call you anything. You're just going to squeeze out. Carmen gets handcuffed and escorted to the police station. Throughout the ride, she accuses officers of hurting her and demands to be taken to a hospital. But there are obviously no injuries, so the ride continues. The cops then finally identify her as Carmen Matash, a chemist originating from Romania. On July 9, 2023, Hoboken police officers arrived at a car accident where the driver hit several parked cars. They found the driver without any injuries, proving once again that airbags can really save lives. Oh, well, good, please stop. You're, you just cover up, you're, you're uh, exposed. You're still exposed. You're still exposed, man. Cover your breasts. Well, that was the lead to be shot. Can you It's going to be I New Jersey, Hotel okay. 57, uh, Romeo Hotel Entry. Okay, where is it? Down the block. I told my boyfriend to come get me. Okay. Uh, are you okay? I'm fine. Where's your shoes? My shoes is in the car. What happened my, to ankle, my ankle was swollen. I told my boyfriend to come get me. The woman was detained and a field sobriety test was conducted. While the suspect remained calm and respectful, it was the cop who seemed confused and gave unclear instructions. Put your right foot on the line. Oh, you said left foot. Correct. Correct, you're right. So. Put your left foot on the line and put your right foot in front of it. Put your hands put your hands down at your sides. Ooh, ooh. So what do we know? Right or left? What was that? I said, what are we doing, right or left? It's going to be your right. Okay. Put your right foot on one. Because that's so, not what you said. Same said left. You know what? You're, you are you are correct. So, correct. so put your left foot on the line. So you doing left? Put your left foot on the line. Put your right foot in front of it. Heel to toe. Left. Ooh. I'm not. Ooh. I, I didn't tell you to begin, ma'am. Okay. So... So again, I'm going to put you in the starting position. When I put you in the starting position, do not move until I tell you to do so, correct? Okay. Okay. Correct. So put your left foot on the line. Put your right foot in front of your left, left foot. On the line. Just like that. Do, do not move until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? Okay. And when the suspect failed to maintain her balance, the officer could finally arrest her. I don't 
don't have good balance. What's 14? So. What's 14? What's 14? All right. All right. For this last test, just do me a favor, turn around for me. Thank you. Thank you. Put the hands behind your back. A search of the vehicle revealed open containers of alcohol. The suspect was then taken to the police station, where she tried to explain that the bottle was already empty when she sat behind the wheel. Not so surprisingly, this didn't protect her from arrest. That's correct. That bottle right there, right? Bottle of the pool is not out there. What? Oh, you want me to Uh, yeah, put, put your firearm away, please. But also, it's a bottle. Yeah, for right now. That's in, like. Can you just step right inside this room, okay? So. Just give me one moment. Uh, I'm going to go speak to the officer who's going to. Ma. 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 My question is, right? You said, you said, you said, you know, on the DWI, right? Yes, the DUI. So. DWI, right? And I took a bottle that was empty okay. in the vehicle. Okay. But I also took a, a bottle that was not open. You're gonna search again? Uh, okay. While this cop may have landed his biggest bust in his career, the same cannot be said about officers who stormed into the home of Anjanette Young. The Chicago Police Department officers burst into her home and handcuffed her while she was naked. The cops utilized a no-knock entry, but the problem was they had the wrong house. How can you take photographs of my house and don't tell me what you're looking for? You got the wrong house! You got the wrong house! They were actually looking for a man with a gun who was wanted due to multiple felonies. Instead, they ended up raiding the home of a 38-year-old social worker, Anjanette. The most disturbing part is that even though Anjanette obviously wasn't the man they were looking for, they still forced her to remain naked in handcuffs without providing any explanations for why they raided her house. Wait a minute, what are you doing? Oh my God, no, I have to call somebody. This is not right. I don't even know what you're doing. We'll explain to you what's going on right now. Please explain. You come in here, you kick my door in, you take pictures of stuff. Sergeant Walensky, who oversaw the raid, finally realized they might be in the wrong place. Only after seven minutes of Anjanette crying and screaming, he orders his men to leave the house to clear the situation with the suspect. It turns out, the man they were looking for lived in the house four years ago.
I hear what you're saying, sir. And still you let me call somebody. Because this is not right. I've been living here by myself. Nobody by that name lives here. You can go through every single mail in my house. You're not going to find it. And you got the wrong place. Unfortunately, it took about another five minutes before Sergeant Walensky finally admitted his mistake and uncuffed her. Anjanette was rightfully upset, and after the incident, she filed a lawsuit against the officer's conduct. The Chicago City Council awarded her $2.9 million, and Sergeant Walensky was fired from the police force.